The world right now is spiraling out of control. You might not have seen what's happened because it was a few hours ago. A lot of people were here. There's so many people outside, which we appreciate. But a lot of people were here a short time ago. Iran launched 181 ballistic missiles at Israel. And uh, we, we it's just, it's, I've been talking about World War III for a long time. And I don't want to make predictions because the predictions always come true. We're not going to make but they are very close to global catastrophe. We have a non-existent president and a non-existent vice president who should be in charge, but nobody knows what's going on. She was at a fundraiser in San Francisco, a city that she totally destroyed, by the way. It's, uh, San Francisco was the best city in the country maybe 20 years ago, and today you can't even, you can't even go there. You can't even live there. And I speak against myself because I own property there. I shouldn't be saying that. I should say it's the greatest place in the world. Let's sell my property. But I say it's, uh, I don't know, maybe it stages a comeback, but it's, it's literally uh, not livable. And 20 years ago, it was the best city in the country, probably one of the best cities anywhere in the world. But they, uh, you know, she was caught yesterday on an airplane staging a fake photo op. Did you see that with the telephone? The only problem is she didn't have the phone plugged in. You know, she was talking. <laughs> she's talking on the phone. The phone is not plugged in. She's talking like she's working. You know, I'm working so hard. Oh, boy, what a group. What a group. No one is in charge of our country, and it's not even clear. Uh, really, I mean, who, who's in charge between the two of them? You have a president, I guess. You have a vice president, I guess. She should have never been chosen because she never got any votes. Uh, it's no surprise that Iran desperately wants Kamala Harris to be president. They endorsed her. I think they actually endorsed her. I don't know. So did Putin. Putin endorsed her. And he was endorsed. Uh, he actually endorsed her with a smile on his face. He's going like, <laughs> No, I think her. <laughs> he would want her. He would want her. I don't think he know exactly what to say. It was very interesting, actually. But uh, he did. He said, I want, I think she, because of her, he said, because of her experience. Oh, experience. Experience in losing. Because they know as long as she's in power, they can take advantage of America like never before. And you know, for four years, you, this country was respected. I was respected, but this country was respected. Viktor Orban said, if you bring Trump back, he's the head of Hungary, you bring Trump back, there won't be any problems anywhere. We had no problems in the world. But that's why they target me. That's why I'm targeted. I got, I'm targeted by a lot. Iran and targeted, we know for a fact, but probably others, but they target. They only target consequential presidents. Oh, now war or threat of war is raging everywhere and the two incompetent people running our country or what? I don't actually think they're even running it, are leading us to uh, the brink of World War Three, a war like no other. This is what the policies of weakness and appeasement have brought to the world. And as I've been saying for a long time, you know, Terrible things can happen. When you have incompetent leadership, really bad things can happen. I mean, there's a story that I just told you about how quickly we took out the enemy that we were fighting for 20 years, close to 20 years. You wouldn't trust Joe or Kamala to run a lemonade stand anywhere, would you? If you were, if your child were running a stand, you know, the way I used to run a lemonade stand, I'd say, Mom, outside of my house in Queens, I'd run, uh, it, there weren't that many people walking in front of the stand, but I ran it. But if I wasn't going to run it, I wouldn't let one of those two run it because they wouldn't have any idea. 